breaking news. I have to be a little bit quiet because it is quite late. Steven Gerrard is gone. He's gone from the club. Um, I've just looked online. I'm not too sure if he's resigned or he's been sacked. But it's done. It is done now. And I thought I'd get a video out. And I just wanted to say, when we first appointed him, he was definitely the my first sort of manager. I was like, yeah, he, he's probably the one to take over the you know, the first couple of games. We looked really good. We looked really composed. We looked new. Um, and then obviously just when he just went tits up. At, I think it was when Marvellous Scamber, to be fair, was going a bit... I think he got injured or something, and then um, just after that, the, the form was really bad. And the uh, you know coming to the end of the season, we were still talking about top ten, and we could have still won the last game against Man City, and we lost that game. And then we obviously got some new signs in, like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just speechless. Honestly, I am really speechless. That it's actually just happened tonight. But yeah, we got some signings: Carlos, Kamara, um, and so on. And obviously, most of them are injured, which I'll back Gerard up, obviously. It, it's not going to help, is it? But I know the last video I just made, I was very furious. And I honestly, just, honestly, I just weren't expecting it to be this quick. I thought it would have been tomorrow morning. Ben was saying to me, he won't be, he'll be here for the Brentford game. But... You know, this might sound a bit two-faced, but I do wish him the best, obviously. It's just, at the end of the day, he just did not match Aston Villa. What we want uh, as fans, what the club want, our ambitions, he just did not match. But, yeah, I just want to thank him for trying, I guess. Um, and at the end of the day, it obviously couldn't have been easy, losing Michael Beale. Uh, you know, someone who's obviously been with him since the you know his days of Rangers. But now it just leads to the question, who's coming in? Is it Poch? Is it, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm lost for words. I mean, I don't know. I honestly do not know. But it looks like me and Ben will be going to the Brentford game. Um, whoever takes over that game will probably be like McAllister or Critchley. It'll be one of them. Uh, but... Oh, he's, he's got he's got to be up from here now. I mean, the, the result against Brentford it, it won't really mean much right now because obviously we have to wait till we know who's coming in. But let's just pray to God it is Pochettino. And if it isn't him, go for Tuchel. If it isn't Tuchel, go for Emery. We just need someone, a big name, knows what he's doing, loads of experience, even a few trophies or something behind them, something like that. But yeah, um... Just it's good news at the end of the day, and it, you know, I just, it's obviously sad for Gerard. You know, obviously I feel feel for him. He did drop at the end of the day. Just it, he was just out of his depth at the end. But you know, it's only it should be only going one way for Villa now, and that should be up. And at the end of the day, the owners have acted quickly. In my opinion, I thought they would have gave him till the Brentford game. Like as much as they didn't want that to happen, they probably should. I, I, I don't know, but it is what it is. Gerard has obviously left Aston Villa now, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, up the Villa with Pride Villa. We'll see you in the next video.